You just kind of sit. I've been practicing getting up and down off the floor without using my hands as often as I can. You would like to give that a, a go. Um, a deep squat if that works for your knees and hips, make sure. Blow it up to the ground. <laughs> that rock back. Um, do your best. Don't hurt yourself. Keep trying. Um, so, this pose is a like a seated mountain pose. Aligned and relaxed. Breath and energy flow. Jack Ranayama is when we are breathing through the nose with gentle sound. Rhythmic helps the mind settle there. Inhale deeply, arms up. Exhale, arms down, heart center, a little lift of the sternum. Inhale again. Oh. Breathe in, reach up your arms again. Breathe out, rotation to the left side. So turn your belly first and your chest, then your head. Inhale, three. Exhale. Breathing into each position, the breath will give you information. Help you find space. Slow return to center, inhaling and to the second side as you're ready, bring down your arms, turning your spine from the bottom up. Remember to balance effort and ease. Know yourself. Do you tend to overdo or hold back? Try to find the middle path. One more time. Then release back to center with the same level of mindfulness coming in. Sit back at the, on your mat so your feet are on the cushion surface or side bend, um, pressing the right leg over the left. Hook the feet together. Let's play with lifting this package of legs. So hands easy beside or behind you. Easy, I mean comfortable, happy hand, lean back. So you can lift the package of the legs and bring it back down. And then a side bend over to the left side. Just the right amount for your body. So the arms can look the right way for your expression of this low back lengthener. Trying to connect that whole side body with that hooked foot position. One more time, breathe deeply. Middle path, I was overdoing it, I could tell. Inhale up to center, and release your legs. Lean back, try to lift both legs off the ground, bring it back down. And then the other side, teaching your feet to hold on, to hold the hands. So to speak. Okay, now lean back, hook the feet, try to lift your legs off the ground a little bit, bring it back down, and then over into side bending, second side. Just a light holding with the feet. We study our body, so you need to pay attention in your body in a pose like this. Is your shoulder way up off your ear, for example, one thing? And then breathe out one more time. Slowly come up. I like to drag that hand to come up with real slowness. Back to center. Lean up, lift your legs a little bit and release. Heart lift pose. 
We won't lift this time, but maybe we'll come back later. And spin outward, fingers forward. Elbows bent. This is a, from the shoulders and chest opening position. Be gentle there, be mindful. Lift your chest, let the whole front body stretch. Top to the feet. Downward center gazing. Helps counter this back bend extension in the spine. Think of having your neck very long with that downward gaze. You don't have to go back, just long. And release, press forward, relax your legs, and then pull back your toes. Ashimatanasana. Just getting started, so warming up into forward fold. Gently find that range of motion. I've got my hands underneath the backs of my knees just to offer a little gentleness there. What is going to help you feel supported? Breathing three more times. Head down. And coming up, release. Come next to tabletop position, please. So maybe don't use your hands. Or work your way. Just use one hand. Make your way in there um, safely. Arrive safely. And spread, come down a little ahead of the shoulders. It's just fine here. Or they can be right under the shoulders. Pick up and reset each of your knees. Pick up and reset each of your feet. So we've got those six points of connection. And a wide belt around the waist. Have a moment to have a neutral spine. Like you're hugging the front hip points towards each other. Feeling that support your back. And building on that with bird dog pose, reaching the right arm and the left leg away from each other. For one, two, three, big foundation. What's your foundation here? Include the low belly and change sides. Come down and Make your way in and test your foundation, see if you did do any refinements and then come on up and reach long and straight. Concentration. Slowly breathe one more time. And bring down your hand and your knee. Rise up to balance on the knees, slide your shoulders down the back. Parigasana, popping out your right leg with your toes forward. Up to the side, toes forward. And bring the left arm across the front of your body, palm facing back. This is kind of like eagle pose I was thinking recently where we do a shoulder stretch here by hooking the underarm into the upper arm and then have a little rotation. We'll customize that arm position. And then all you have to do right now is these things, these actions with your body, your breath, and your gaze. Try to free yourself from everything that's not right now. And use the rotation and the shoulders. Open the arms, breathe in, stretch your fingers, and breathe back. Please come to the other side with or without your hands. Toes forward. Find that foundation, flip and flip. And then the arms. So lift your right arm, bring it right across your chest. Use your left arm to create a shoulder stretch and a little rotation. Customize all of this for yourself, for one. Include your neck a little bit in the turning, two, three, four, 
Mm -hmm. One more breath. So you know how much time that you're spending in the poses in the general way. Release, take care. Uh, release, open out, inhale. And exhale, bring your knee back by the other way. Cow spine, gentle extension. Cat spine, deep flexion. Two more times. Take time with this, don't go fast. Teach you slow breathing as well as slow movement. Inhale. Match the movement with the breath. Exhale when that is ready. Stretch it out as you curl your spine. Neutral when that is complete. Puppy, lift your feet, tuck your toes, sit back. Slowly mindful. Just the right amount of back and down. This is about long spine. So arms go, go forward to accommodate, keeping the elbows and armpits lifted. Bring your head down. Breathe. Directly physically grounding that space between your eyebrows. It can be reaching for the ground or touching the ground. Breathe out again. Inhale, cow sign. Or, and exhale to bear pose. One, get your feet under you. Pick up and reset your hands. Two, two inches off the floor with the knees. Three, four, creates power. And five, downward facing dog, straighten your legs, press them back, refine hands and feet, and then bring your head down, broad shoulders and chest. Navi Jujji, that is navel gaze. Long spine, one more deep breath, auto move, Gatsmanasana. Shift forward to plank pose, just from where you are is fine. You don't have to change your position. Three, four, five. So usually we just um, blast past this one on the way out of downward dog. Stepping forward now, right foot forward, pause a moment. Left foot forward, pause. Get onto your feet and stand up with the power of your legs. Bring up your arms, give them a little free movement in the hands and the wrists as you spread your feet and arrive on your feet. Some side to side reaching. One more time, both arms up, lift your rib cage, breathe in. Breathe out, stand tall, bring down your arms. Into your space, mountain. Let your nervous system register that groundedness, that intentional gathering of your body into a relaxed posture. And make your way to the front section of your mat. Um, let's start at the back. Look out on the floor ahead of your mat, like five feet, and keep try to keep your eyes there. Your peripheral vision will help you know where your feet are. And do a heel toe walk. So your best with it. Use your arms. So that gaze ahead is more helpful than looking down when you're balancing. I won't come back to that idea, but now step into mountain pose. Good. That's good for balance. Inhale, upward hands pose, shoulders down, lift the plane of your face lightly. One, two, three, four, five. 
two, three. So we are using the strength and the strength of the lower body and the core to support the arms in the air, which is not an easy thing to do. One more time, upward hands. Exhale down into Utkatasana, bend your knees, and just bring your arms parallel to the floor, shoulders back into the body, knees back, hips back. One, two, three, four, open feet. Five, standing up, pat your front hip points, tilt your pelvis as you come to standing forward fold. Catch your elbows, have a little free movement here. And you might think, some people say, oh, I can't touch my toes. Notice how much more you can go in this direction than in the other directions. It's all relative. We are flexion dominant in our bodies. One more time. Bring down your hands, bend your knees further, spread your hands, left leg back, right leg back, Kalakasana. One. Press the hands, turn the legs, front hip points draw together. Palm. One more time. Long enough for it to be meaningful. Knees down where they are, release your toes. Exploring upward facing dog. Arms strong and straight. So is it. Lifting ribcage, pelvis forward, downward gaze. Stop at any point. Keep your tummy toned. Breathe five times. Even if you practice off your knees, sometimes it's interesting to practice with your knees down. Urdhva Mukha. Upward face, slowly, slowly through tabletop, downward face or puppy. The play bow. A little toe lifting for the last couple breaths if you like, thigh for me. Bring your feet to your hands. You can step or jump. Halfway lift, inhaling. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, standing. Take care of yourself in each position. Exhale, same standing pose, returning to the mountain. Shift your weight into your right leg for a moment. Find your five feet away. Gaze, just that list. Left leg, shift your weight. And Receptive gazing, steady. Four and five. Back into mountain both feet. Three fingers. Press forward. Press up. Side bend right. Center inhale. Press up. Side bend left. And back to center one more time. Release your hands, forward fold. Breathe out. Halfway lifting, inhale. Exhale, spread your hands, left leg back. Come onto the inside, lizard. One more time. Bring down the back knee and rise. Find your balance. 
arms out to the sides. Turn towards the right side. Gaze back one, two, three, four, five. Return to center. And release your arms. Changing sides. Lizard. Step forward. Step. Step back. Step forward. Other side. Come on to the inside. Just five breaths this time today. So just find up a nice neutral lizard pose to work with. Slowly breathing one more time. Distributing the efforts throughout the body. Bring down the back knee. Rise up. Low lunge shape, arms out, inhale. And turning to the left side, start low. This is a close belly twist. So you, you won't be able to turn that far and that's because that's not how you are designed. Nice opening across the fronts of the arms and shoulders and chest. One more breath. Back to center release. Flowing through to downward dog. Bring back your leg. Dip down into chaturanga from the knees. Upward facing dog on or off the knees. Downward facing dog. Five breaths. Lengthen the sides of your waist. Heels reach down. Try to distribute the work throughout the body. Come forward, breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, fold. Breathe in, stand up. And release, bring back your arms. Eagle pose with the right leg in front of the left. And you lift your foot off the ground or keep the toes grounded, sinking down. Bring your Right arm under your left as well. Fingers skyward or, or shoulder hugging. What works, what works today emotionally? What works physically? One, two, release your hands to your waist from where they are and take that top leg and step back into warrior A. Do what you need to do. <laughs> Front knee over the ankle, rib cage forward on the mat, arms down. Bring up your arms, keeping your shoulders down at the same time. Hands together, bend your elbows behind your skull. One, two. This is a back bend, so the rib cage needs to lift in the back as well as the front. One more time. Opening the front body is what back bending is. And release. Second side, equal pose. Come forward, cross your other leg, make your way in. So you can spend more time in the poses. If you have tried them before, you know about where you're going. Get in there and start refining. Add the arms, so that top leg, side, arm underneath. Two, three. If you're not already concentrating on the balance aspect of this pose right now, concentrate on that and breathe out one more time. Transition to warrior A from here if possible. So you might need to come out and then step out. Try to do it without stepping down. Refine your foundation. All this doesn't have to square 
so that it can comfortably forward. Arms up, shoulders down, hands touch, elbows bend behind the skull. One time. Stepping forward on your mat to release. Lean forward, press heat, and tingle. We hold triangle, step back, left leg first, straight leg stand, slowly facing. Lengthen that left side of the body, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Keep that side long, it helps you come across your foot or on your foot or your chin. The other arm out to the side, gaze out of that arm to the side or let it come up towards the sky if that's in your practice. Don't force it, let it grow over time. The low back is steady. Rotating mid back and neck one more time. Exhale, come down. Inhale, stand up, changing sides. Foundation is so important. Make sure you feel balanced to start. So you can use the left hand to guide the pelvis into the forward fold. Reach your right side long, inhale. Forward fold, exhale, keep the right side long, and then bring it across. You feel your mid back start to turn wherever you're going to settle your hands or both hands. Let your feet spread and explore the rotation in your body for this moment. Cars the jersey towards the hand. Side gazing out towards wherever your left hand is. One more time. Exhale, come down if you're rotating your arm and then inhale, stand up. Shoulders set, babies. Utita, Chikanasana. We both have, uh, both triangles have a first name. This one is extended triangle. Turn out to the left side of your mat with wide parallel feet. On the, on the heel of your right leg, turn your hip, knee, and foot out. Your back foot angle can change according to your comfort. Or it can stay parallel. Stretch your arms, breathe in. Balance. Breathe out. Thinking of this as a balanced pose, where I'm kind of a narrow line in this shape. It's very hard to do paddle boarding. This is the get in the water when you're paddle boarding <laughs> kind of yoga pose. Reach across your heart center. Breathe out one more time. Coming up, changing sides. So I, just thinking of it as a balanced pose, just every day, one of the five everyday yoga poses. One more time. Inhale, coming up. Warrior B. Bend your knee. Stay side facing. Come down nice and low. Think of this as a balancing pose, too. Turn your head to look forward. Hands relaxed, gently reaching. And five to the other side. Set the body, set the gaze, set the breath. One more. Be 
release the arms, turn back to wide parallel feet. You can change that distance if you need to. All side breathe in. Let's do B variations today. I haven't done this one in a while where you keep your hands on your pelvis as you go into the forward fold. So inhale again, stand tall. Exhale, forward fold. It's okay to bend your knees. Riding the pelvis into that hold with the hands and then bring your elbows towards each other behind you. You can move your fingers. So front fingers on the fingers on the front hip points. Gently push upward towards the ceiling. And that helps you find length in your spine. Because you're pushing your pelvis away from your head a little bit there. Spread your feet, reach down. One more big wave of breath. Give your breath space. It's okay if it moves your body a little bit. And then inhale to stand all the way up. Rest feet, strong legs rise. Exhale, release. Back to the front section of your mat. Bringing your right foot behind you to the top of your foot, if possible. Okay. Reset that standing leg. Find your concentration spot out in front and bring your foot behind. Stretching the top of the foot, balancing. And then release that back foot and hook it around the back of your other, your standing leg. So the toes could refer to the floor. So it's like eagle, but the legs wrapped in the back and the legs are straightened. Shiva's message, uh, left hand, palm forward, fingers down. Right hand, palm forward, fingers up. One, two, that hooking together the, the legs. Four, and five. One of the dancing poses. Release to the other side. Center briefly. Top of the foot behind. One, two, three. Five, hook from behind the standing leg. Right hand down, left hand up. One more time. And release. Coming down into Pierce Pose for five four breaths to finish in standing. Finish standing practice. One, two, long spine, hips low. I'm using that um, hands on the pelvis to lengthen it away from the spine a little bit. Pressing the front hip points. And release. Coming to sit down. If you would like to come from here and widen your feet if you need to, to squat. Stay squatting, standing up more. No harming. You put your seat on the floor or have it up. And let me know if you want to do more of this work in your practice and come on down. Check in with your energy. Ardha Matsi Andrasana. Bend your right knee and bring it forward on the mat. Bring your left foot around that knee. Sit tall, use your arms. Exhale, turn your spine. The back hand right behind you to help you stay tall up in your spine here. The other hand supports this leg. This is a consolidating pose, 
but only bringing that leg in if it feels good in your body. Positive patterns, that is what we're here for. Add that backward gaze, half Lord of the Fishes. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, release the twist. Exhale, pick up your top leg and bring it out into Janu Shirsasana. We do that without my arms today. Today is my arms. My arms. Head to knee pose. Come out slowly, making sure that you don't cause any irritation. Use your hands to connect with your leg or your foot and bring your head down. Draw the low belly back. One more. Slowly come up like you come in. Lean back with that one leg. You can use support of your hands if you need. One leg boat. One, two, tall, sign three. Lift the center of your chest, four. And five. Release. Oh no, see on the other side. Ida Nazi and Rasina. And try the hands free version. Release. Mm -hmm. Add the hands. Notice how they ground the pose. Bring yourself into rotation, breathing now. Tall spine. Use that arm behind you to help you stay tall. Customize this. Top leg and arm hold position. Gaze back. One. Exhale, two. Slow, deep breathing. That's why the alignment is so important because you're giving your body a chance to really take in the information of these shapes. Your nervous system and the structures of your physical body. Breathe out one more time. Janu Shusasana. Inhale back to center. Take your leg out along the bottom foot. Refine as needed to accommodate your space. If you need to turn towards the front of your mat, that works. Inhale, tall spine. Exhale, tilt and come to that forward shape. Bring out your hands. Ground yourself by connecting your hands and maybe your forehead. One more time. Exhale. Inhale, come up, maybe without using the arms. Usually I have us walk back with the arms and back to that one leg boat. Lift, one. Use your foundation, two, three, four, five, release. Tuck yourself in to your easy seated pose and Inhale, reach up, open your hands. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, up. Exhale, pull. If you'd like to pump your breath a little bit with breath of fire, you may or stay with that slower rhythm. Finish with a slow breath. When you're ready, we inhale and exhale. Bring down your arms. Fly back. 
bringing any supports, clothing, cushioning, and have a sip if you need it, and throat dry. You don't want to drink too much during practice because it puts out the fire that we're trying to create inside. So just a little bit so that you're not disturbed by thirst. Come on back and down. Resist if you want to. Supta or the hastasana. Come back to that arms up position. If you need to refine your low back, settle yourself onto the back body and then flatten your feet like you're standing. Bring your arms up like we do when we're standing and notice how it changes your rib cage, how it extends your spine to have the arms up. And exploring the counter movement, the groundedness with the front, low front ribs. Bring your arms down beside you. Feel how it changes the spine. And bring them to your lower rib cage. Just cupping the lower ribs. You can relax your feet. Feel the breath. Couple cycles. Next time you breathe in, notice the expansion, how that area spreads. And then the contraction. Think about grounding the navel towards the spine and those front ribs down and together, like you're weaving them together. Explore that another two times. Inhale. Exhale. Add a little strength to that front body grounding. And we contract it. One more time. Inhale, relax open. Exhale, a little bit strong with that grounded front body. Keep that, bring your arms up and notice how your spine doesn't move as much. One, flatten your feet. Two, three, Learning how to breathe and ground into the belly. Four. And five. Relax your feet. Bring down your arms. Exhale. Settle your shoulders. Step in your feet one at a time. Keep your spine long. Sichuandasana. Inhale, coming up, lengthening the front body. Make sure your throat is open, your neck is long. This pose strengthens the neck muscles because we're pressing the back of the skull right into the ground. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, coming up, you can refine your feet and then come up. Go slowly, feel the movement. If possible, lift your right leg off the ground. Try to keep your hips level. One more breath aside. Bring down your leg and then release your spine. Last one coming up. Developing with both feet or one leg lift. Try to level the pelvis. One, two, three, four, five. Leg down first, control, then the spine. And relax. Sutta Vada Konasana. Make sure your low back feels spacious and comfortable here as you bring your knees apart and your heels together. Just the heels. The rest of the feet can touch or not. You can use supports under your knees or just let gravity hold you where you are. Mm 
You may rest your arms where you like. So allowing this pose to be an energy hold today, meaning just be here and breathe and let go of applying energy to it. Bringing your hands behind your head with your fingers and thumbs, your index fingers and thumbs, create a diamond shape behind your skull. If that works, bring it a little hard to arrange that to be comfortable, but something like that, upward facing triple diamond, the elbows are the second diamond, the hands are the third one, two, Releasing anything that resonates with frustration. Lift your head to release your hands and your arms. Slowly bring your knees back towards the ceiling. And in to your chest one at a time. Lift them off the floor. Knees away and close a few times. Just hang arms on the floor version of this. So I'm using lower body to create the movement in the arms. How about the side to side rock a little bit on the low back? And center. On that note, exploring the lift of the hips. And so find center with your skull and your spine, bring your legs up in the air, arms right beside you, palms spreading like you're in downward dog. So this is a little bit of finesse and a little bit of momentum, this version. So bring your legs away from you a little bit and then towards your face, press your arms and lift your hips a little bit. Explore that a few times, or just resting with your legs in the air is okay. We'll get to a legs up hold, but just exploring the movement that instigates that hip lift. So you're reaching your legs up towards the ceiling. One more time, and you can continue hoisting into a shoulder stand. So shoulder stand can be partly lifted. Legs, it doesn't have to be all the way extended. Head centered. Hands help support and lengthen your spine. It's okay if your hips stay on the floor. Neck long, throat open. Legs reaching. Two more slow breaths. Salamba Sarvangasana, whole body supported posture. Halasana, plow pose, bringing the legs overhead further. Releasing the arms to the ground. You can just bring your legs towards you if your hips are down that side one. Rounding the upper back. One more time, find your breath. Hala, hala. Release your body down with control, slowness. And bring your knees to your chest. Rocking up. 
privilege pose or fish pose if you have in your practice. I know it irritates a lot of people, so I generally don't lead it. What I do lead is heart lift, so it's manageable. Hips down, maybe you wanna bring up your hips. And if you like to take your head back, if that works for you, head back. One more time. Ease your way out of your shape. Forward fold for a moment to get that calm energy back. And lie down for rest and pose. Make any refinements. Sometimes it takes a moment for you to notice something that you might need to shift a little bit. So scanning your body and asking it to be still. For the energetic impressions of the poses and the breathing become part of, part of you, integration. Also well-deserved rest from an hour of movement. Which is resting. Gently present with your body. Gently present with your breathing. Letting the space between the ears settle. The watery nature of your body includes your brain. Allow the watery nature of your brain to rest. Let those waters be still and settle. Let the calm surface. Smooth. so that it may reflect your true nature. Let movement return with that watery release and throat of swallowing, managing. 
that aspect of the fluid. And your arms slowly alongside your ears, reaching down through your legs. Feel that gently extend your spine, bringing a little gentle energy. Wiggle toes and fingers. Blink your eyes. Maybe a light resting half smile. Let yourself be gently uplifted by the peacefulness. And consider your transition back to seated. If you'd like to continue without using your arms or everything today, you can try to sit up without your arms. If that works. And then tuck the arms into your sides and your hands right into the center of your chest. And feel deeply. Oh. I'm so grateful for this opportunity to practice with you. It's a pretty inspired practice. Considering I wasn't sure when I woke up this morning how I was feeling, but um, keep working on those balance challenges if they would like for whole body strength and agility.